Nobel laureate, Professor Wu Soyinka, has accused former President Aliska Novosinjo of being the most hypocritical former leader of the country, following his attempt to hijack the movement for political change. Soyinka stated this in Abujan on Friday, June 22, at a dinner organized by the International Press Institute, The Punch reports. Obasanjo has crossed the red line and I will launch a publication to expose him on July 3 at Freedom Park in Lagos, Soyinka stated. He is trying to hijack a recovery process he is least worthy to lead. He further said that Obasanjo is not the right person to lead any movement for reform on change of leadership in the country in 2019, adding that Obasanjo's coalition for Nigerian movement should not be glorified. According to Soyinka, Obasanjo and other geriatric leaders of his generation should step aside and allow a new generation to lead the nation. Responding to a question that he has not been critical of Obasanjo as he had been of other past leaders, especially late General Sani Abika, Soyinka said, as for Obasanjo, I have news for him. And it has been a progressive thing. I believe Obasanjo has really crossed the red line because he is trying to put himself as the head of a recovery process. He is trying to hijack the recovery process in this nation and I say that he is one of the least worthy of one of the former heads of states to lead the kind of movement. I have brought out a publication about that, the title is in Latin but it means, Who Watches the Watchman? That publication is coming out simply because I will like to see new blood and governance in this nation and I think these corrupt and hypocritical geriatrics should stop recycling themselves and they should stop trying to co-opt their former cronies to take over the reins of governance in this nation. We previously reported that members of the House of Representatives from the ruling party, All Progressives Congress, APC, and the opposition party, People's Democratic Party, PDP, disagreed over the allegation leveled against President Muhammadu Buhari by Obasanjo. Obasanjo had recently cried out that President Buhari was plotting to use fake documents to implicate him and lock him up in jail for fraud. While APC lawmakers were in support of President Buhari and insisted that the allegation was untrue, their P2P counterparts insisted that Obasanjo's allegation should be taken seriously and investigated.